how I paint flowers. Okay, this is by no means the only way to do it, um, but this is just what I've kind of figured out how to do using my method. So what I'm going to do is make a selection of this uh, this bottle and the flowers that are in it. So I'm going to make sure I'm on the correct layer. And I'm using the object selection tool set to lasso. So I'm going to just do a rough selection and see what I get. Now I mentioned that I'm on the layer which has the photograph here. If I'm not on that layer, this tool won't really work well. Okay, But I make that rough selection, it's going to do its magic and pretty much make a pretty good selection. Okay, Now if it's not perfect, I would go and take I would take the lasso tool and you know refine it or even whatever tools I want to add things that are missing or subtract pet parts that I shouldn't have. Now I've already done this. Um, I'm going to deselect and just show you that. So there, that's my basic selection. I didn't include all these little pieces sticking up. Um, I would paint those in or do them later. So that is my bottle and flowers layer. I just filled it with the color from the bottle. Okay. And I'm going to command click that to select it. And that just gives me a shape to paint inside of. Okay. So actually, I'll deselect. Uh, the other thing I want to do is I want to see those flowers right next to where I'm painting, just so my reference is right there. Maybe better painters can do it without it close by. I need it close by. Okay. Kind of like that. So what I'm going to do is reselect that. I'll make a new layer. And I'll move that layer up here. I'm going to call that flower shade. Oh my goodness. Shade 2. So I've, I've got a bunch of them. I've demoed this a couple times. Um, so what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to block in some color. What I mean by that is I'm going to look at what's there in front of me and kind of get the basic colors that I see. Maybe do uh, not so much shapes. Yeah, I guess I'll, I'll kind of do shapes. So I'm going to take my brush. Um, I'm going to use a little bit harder edge to my brush, a little bit bigger. Okay and make sure I'm using some settings that I like. So I'm using transfer with pen pressure. And so you see these cattail type objects. I'll just kind of block those in. And if I want to just hold option and click on one of those, I can get the color from it. Once again, because my opacity and flow are turned down up here and my my brush settings are also helping with that, it's not going to go to that full brightness of the color right away. Okay, I might even want to use like the darker color. But here I'm even doing a little bit of adding a little dimension to it because it's darker on this side, lighter on that side. So I can Gonna do that as I go if I want. But like I said, I call this kind of blocking in color, getting some shapes that I see. Make this a little bit lighter. It's gonna take me a while to paint that, but get the idea. get some of this orange color. And if it's taking too long, I'll just turn my opacity and flow up and make it happen a little faster. 
I'm not so concerned with being real accurate at this point. putting down some of the color and you know if these flower petals go in different directions I'm gonna make my brush strokes go in those directions as well just kinda helps Dark, darker orange go over some of the areas and this just gives me a basis for refinement later you know, it's kind of impressionist impressionistic is that a term kind of impressionistic at this point Greens, whoops, did not mean for that to happen. Okay. Now, if my brush is too big. I need to do a little more flower over here. My brush a little smaller. Maybe do some stems. Not too light. And that kind of gives me the look of what I'm going for. Um, if I want to do more detail here, I'll show you the layer where I've been working. This one, it's really in that same state down here. Up top, I've done a lot more detail with my brush. Um, I've even used my lasso to make some selections, like going around. Oops, let me deselect. So I would deselect and maybe make a selection. This is going to give me a hard edge to you know, make a petal stand out from what's behind it. I did that here, here a little bit. Um, you know, it's really up to you how much detail you do, how you want it to look. But that's kind of the gist of things. All right, thanks for watching.